All right, Kipsters, if you made it here, you made it to the final video. You've seen this screen seven times. Hopefully it's memorized by now. These are all the different place names, what they look like, uh, how much they're worth as decimals and as fractions. Uh, so let's get to our final part, dividing decimals, part two. When you look at this first problem, you're going to see why it's part two. It's right over here. We now have a decimal in the divisor, the number that comes up at the door. But here's the thing. Uh, to begin with, I'm going to show you two different ways, just like we did in class. It's a review. The first way is something you learned a couple of months ago. It's taking these decimals and converting them into fractions and then doing some fraction division. So let's start over here. 0 0.28. Please call out what that would be as a fraction. Go ahead, call it out. 28 hundredth is this correct. We'll bring down that division sign. Uh, let's take zero, uh, 0 0.7. Go ahead, call that out. That's 7 tenths. Now remember, when dividing fractions, we do this one method called keep switch. Keep switch flip is right. So we keep the first fraction, change the division to a multiplication, and then flip 7 over 10 to become, go ahead, call it out, 10 over 7. That's right. That's our reciprocal. Then, finally, since it's multiplication, we can shoot, shoot. Uh, this is pretty easy multiplication here. 28 times 10. Can you do that in your head? Call it out if you can. Yep, 280. And then 100 times 7. I know you all can do it in your head. Call that out. That's 700. Good job. Now, here's the thing. We started off with decimals. We really want to get this answer into decimal form. But decimals don't speak seven hundredths. They speak tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So what we're going to need to do is make this fraction, and I'll move it, move it down here, speak a decimal language. And one way to do that is to reduce it. First way to reduce, we learned the scratch and scratch smart cut, but just so you remember, that really means we're dividing the top and the bottom by 10. Okay? So we got 28 over 70. Go ahead and call out. See if you can think of a number that you can divide the numerator and the denominator into. Go ahead. Call it out if you know it. Did you try 7? Seven? 7 over 7? And I should say 7 over 7 because you have to remember we're dividing by one whole. Uh, and that's why we're allowed to do this. Uh, but if you divide by 7 over 7, you will get 4. And look at the bottom. It's tenths. It speaks a decimal language. And you know how to write four tenths in a decimal. That's 0 0.4. So, without any tricks or anything like that, you can make any decimal division problem. You can solve it by just doing fractions and all that keep switch flip stuff. Okay? But there's another way. So look to the right part of the screen. We're going to see this division problem again. Uh, as we talked about before, uh, this is one way to express the division problem. You've also seen it in the house. And we'll do the crisscross method. Uh, so 28 hundred, this goes in the house. 7 tenths, this goes out of the house. Uh, at this point, I'd like to tell a little story I learned from a, a KIPP teacher in the Bronx uh, about Dot the dog. You see him right here. There's Dot right there. And then Spot the cat. Now here's the deal. Dot the dog is hungry. He can sniff some bacon at the front of the house. Here's the front of the house right here. It's at the door. Spot the cat is scared out of his mind of the dog. And every time the dog takes one step towards the door, the cat takes one step away. So watch this. Dot the dog takes one step toward the door. Spot the cat takes one step away. So now, here's what happens. Look down here. The decimal point in the house moved. You can see the red line. It moved one space to the right. And Dot the dog made it to the door, got the bacon, and disappeared into the house. So the decimal point is now gone. As soon as the dog disappears into the house, the cat jumps straight up on the roof. Okay, do you see that? And once the catch up's on the roof, he's gone too. Okay, now you have 28 inside the house.
and seven outside. And you all know what that is. You just have to be real careful about where you place your digits. So follow the same steps we always do. Cover up. Got enough. Call it out. No. Backed up. Got enough. No. Backed up. Got enough. Yes. Seven goes into 28. How many times? Call it out. Four times is correct. Four times seven is 28. Hook the line and subtract. Subtract, 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 and you have yourself zero. And what do you know? The same exact answer, no matter which way you do it. All I'm asking is to be sure that you pop that decimal point, bring the cat to the roof, and be very, very neat with how you do your division. Let's try another. 2.4 divided by, geez, what is that? 3... What's the name of that place? Call it out. Thousand does this right. Okay, we're only going to do the spot and dot method now. So we're going to bring these numbers into the house. 2.4 in the house. 3,000 is outside the house. Here's dot the dog. How many steps does dot the dog need to take to get to the house? Call it out, please. Three is right. One, two, three, which means spot the cat needs to take how many steps? Three is correct. So you go one. Two, but here's what happens. Got to add a zero in that empty space. Three, got to add another zero. So what does this look like? We have three and 2,400. Remember, the dog disappears because he got the bacon. He's happy. He's peacing out. The cat is now over here because he moved three spaces to the right. Since the dog disappeared, He's hopping to the roof, and he's gone too. Now you have three. Remember, all these digits don't mean anything. This is three, 2,400. Same division as always. Cover up. Got enough. No. Back up. Got enough. Yes. How many times is three going to 24? Eight times. And don't you dare stop there. Do your division like you know how to. Pull down the shade. Count by three. Don't pass up zero. Three. Oops. Zero. Finger says zero. Zero pops up. Mouse says zero. Zero goes down. Hook the line. Subtract. 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 Zero. Don't stop there. You're not done. Pull down the shade. Zero. 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 You get the point. You need to know shortcuts when it comes to these division problems. The answer is 800. 2.4 divided by 3 thousandths gives you 800. Okay? This one's on your own. Uh, guided practice. Go ahead and, and try this problem, please. Copy it down now and press pause. Uh, and then uh, come back as soon as you finish. Okay, press pause now. All right, if you're back, I'm assuming you've done this problem, 3,200 this divided by 800 this. Uh, hopefully, you put the right things in the house. Hopefully, you move the dog two spaces, which means you move the cat two spaces. You rewrote it, and you have eight at the door, and inside the house you have 32 with the cat over there, and you jump the cat up to the roof, and the cat disappeared. You covered up, 8 doesn't go into 0, 8 doesn't go into 3, but 8 definitely goes into 32. How many times call it out? 4 is right. And then you finish off your subtraction like that, your answer would be 4. Okay, if you got that right, great job. We're going to move to on your own in a second. If you didn't, just rewind the tape and try these problems again. The spot and dot stuff is, gets a little tricky, okay? But I do want you to practice them now with these three on your own questions. Please be sure to copy them down carefully. You should press pause now. Uh, and good luck. Thanks again for doing this break, Homer Kipsters. Call if you need some help. Deuces.